There is no dispute, caramel and apples, they are the perfect pair. This time of year, we start to see caramel apples pop up everywhere, I love it. And you know that large tart apple, when it's loaded with layers of topping, it's irresistible. And although those apples are delicious, they can be a handful to make at home if you've ever tried it. There's an art to making gourmet apples just right. Well, today we'll get all of that classic taste, but into delicious, and I'll say fairly simple recipes. Beverly Constantine is joining me to share her favorite caramel apple inspired treats. It's so good to see you. So good to see you as what, always. What do you think it is about the combination, the palate friends of apples and caramel? I think it's just a perfect marriage of that buttery, silky, sweet, tart. Yes. Just They just marry so perfectly. Now I'm feeling reverent about the whole thing. <laughs> it really is such a great combination. It's when we come to crave around fall. And you are fantastic at these gourmet caramel apples. We'll talk about why you're such an expert in just a little bit. But first, give us kind of a smaller scale variation of that combination we love, that flavor okay. combination we love, without the huge mess or commitment of an actual gourmet caramel apple. Okay, I can't commit that it's not a big mess. You're still <laughs> using a lot of supplies, but it kind of came about where it was like I would be teaching a caramel apple class, and I'd always have a little bit extra on that bottom, yeah. and I'm like, we can't waste. No. I am a no waste when it comes to all the sweet things. So I thought, well, what can I use all the same supplies and use something that will last longer? than just a couple days. Okay. So it doesn't have to be refrigerated. It's quick and easy. Like if you're trying to do yeah. a quick little favor, it's perfect. So these caramel apple bites were born. Yes. So with this, I like, it's so important to get the really pretty dried apples because that, obviously you see that. So it's of course a, not just taste, but it's pleasing to the so eye. So you're using dry apples for that shelf dry life. Dry apples, yes. So okay. that's gonna be the shelf life. And then um, I, have noticed like when I do full size, it almost seems to be a little too much and too heavy. People want bite, uh -huh. and so bite means for me, half. Okay, okay. Some people it might need a quarter, but to me, I need a full half. <laughs> we so, want our mouth full, it's a full yes. bite. So I usually use a scissors and I just cut them in half. Okay. And then I'm just gonna, I did learn last night that I probably should use tongs just to be <laughs> on the safe side, because it is hot. So we're just gonna dip it in that caramel. Oh my goodness. Wiggle it around. Give it a jiggle, wiggle. So everyone's favorite caramel apple is usually always the apple pie caramel apple. Uh -huh. So that's what we're doing is that version is we're taking this. You weren't shy with that caramel. Oh, no, no. Look at I you, girlfriend. Generous. That is like generous soaked and loaded. And so we're just going to dip it. And then I usually set it either, most of the time I use a um, silicone mat. Okay. You can use parchment. I feel like this, it's just perfect because it makes sure it peels off yeah. every time. And usually the parchment paper might slide and move. Uh -huh. For this, it stays nice and flat on your mat. Look at this. So once we get those ones Can I done. I keep dipping while you oh, keep talking? you bet. Okay. So next one, I'm actually gonna switch this place as you with bet. you. You bet, you bet. So if you wanna try dipping those, next step is gonna be to add the um, white chocolate on it. Okay. So we're gonna take one of these, and again, with the silicone mat, it just uh -huh. comes off so perfectly. Uh -huh. We're gonna dip this in there. And what I've learned as I'm dipping, um, white chocolate on caramel that apples. Teach us your secrets. Is you really don't need tons and tons. One, I'm not a huge white chocolate fan. What? Um, unless it's covered with lots and lots of sugar. <laughs> okay. So I mainly kind of just getting it wet, pulling it off so it's barely wet, and then I'm gonna go into, so I'm gonna squeeze nope, by. we're trading and spaces. And I am gonna put it into this cinnamon sugar brown sugar mix. Mm. And a lot of times I feel like people forget to add that brown sugar. They just go with the cinnamon sugar. Uh -huh. That brown sugar takes it to a whole nother level. What's your that. ratio then? I do one to one to one. Okay. So I usually will do, depending what you're making. So one cup sugar, one cup brown sugar with one tablespoon of cinnamon. Oh because I want to taste that cinnamon flavor. Okay. So again here, I'm gonna have you do one at the same time yes. as me. Now you say you don't like white, white chocolate. I, I don't love white chocolate. In fact, I have this childhood memory that has turned into an adult dream. My grandma, one time, my grandma Jo had a white chocolate nativity set. Like Ooh. the manger, Mary, Joseph, all made out of white chocolate. Oh, and somebody left me alone with the baby Jesus. Yeah. yeah, and I I remember how delicious that manger tasted. And I don't think it was meant to be eaten at that moment. I think oh. it was supposed to last us the Christmas season. As long but, as you enjoyed it. Oh my goodness. Then it's, I'm sure she was just grateful. Well, I don't know, but. Oh, we're gonna dip oh, it into Oh, oh the, dip, the yeah. bath. So dip Hello? it in. Hello? 
And if you don't shake off the excess, a lot of the white chocolate will just melt into That's there. That's what happened to me. You just can toss it around, get it coated, and then pull it out for okay, the next clean one. Clean it up. Okay. Yep. <gasps> Delicious. The caramel apple bites. All right, you've yes. got one more recipe and for us. And then you actually can drizzle. You don't have to, but if you're trying to just level up a little, you can drizzle a little oh, white yeah. chocolate oh, just yeah. to make it a little bit more fancy. Oh, please drizzle, drizzle. Okay, yes. what's recipe number two? Okay, recipe number two, we are going to be making a, um, it's cream cheese caramel apple dip. Oh my gosh. So instead of trying to put caramel, if you put caramel, it's gonna solidify and it's gonna be hard. Uh -huh. That's where you can't get that chew, it's not gonna work. Yeah. So what I use is a caramel um, emulsion. Okay. So we still get the flavor, but we still get to keep our texture. Fantastic. So I just put a block of cream cheese in here, uh -huh. stir it up, make sure it's either at room temperature or you can microwave it. Okay. We're gonna add, first thing that I can do, two tablespoons of this brown sugar. Okay. Because again, I'm addicted to brown sugar. We it love just, the brown sugar. I just think it adds such a layer of flavor that just elevates it. So then we're also gonna put powdered sugar. Okay. So it's almost like you're making a frosting and you absolutely could use this <laughs> in layering a cake. This is how I like and my apples, with a little bit of frosting. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. I don't put butter, you probably could put butter, but I just really wanna keep all that flavor and not be over the top more towards a frosting, this yeah, is more yeah. of a dip. Okay, okay. So we're just gonna mix that up. Yep. You would add some this of it? this caramel um, emulsion. Okay. You can find it in most bakery stores or some gigi. And that will give you the, the caramel flavor favorites. without the texture of the caramel yes. getting hard. Yes. And then how did you top it off? One more thing over here? Yep, and then you'll put a little vanilla as well. Okay. So after you create this, you can leave it as is. I do recommend refrigerating it. If you do it overnight, it kind of solidifies a little more, so it's almost like a spread. Oh my goodness. Or a schmear. Look at that. Look, what a gorgeous tray, first of all, with all the dippables. And what's on top here, Toffee? So, of course, I put some pecans. Pecans. And then I just drizzled it with some actual caramel. Drizzle, drizzle. Just so that you get that extra <gasps> creamy flavor. Beverly, you're It's always fantastic. fun. You can do like a charcuterie board, put all kinds of other toppings, um, different cookies. Yeah. You name it, shortbread. Okay, you've got the caramel apple bites. I will be making these at my house. I'm so excited. <laughs> the caramel apple dip. I will also be making that at my house. So very inspired today in two ways. And we should say, if you want to become a master and learn how to make these amazing gourmet caramel apples at home, you have classes for that. I do. So I teach a variety of classes. Of course, fall is here. So I've already taught two classes. Everybody wants to learn the trip tricks and tips to learn to make them look professional. They're pretty. And I feel like every student comes in feeling like a beginner and leaves like professional. Oh, that's a claim. Look at this with the little toppings and the perfect yes. drizzle. There's an art to it. Beverly can teach you. How do we sign up? So if you just go to my website, my chunky table or my Instagram, I post all my classes at the beginning of the month and then I add as needed. Okay, I hear the class feeling quickly. You are the best at this. Thank you for sharing your gifts and talents. My Chunky Table is where you wanna go for more details on all of her class lineup. Thanks again. Thank you so much.